So guys, I f***ed up uh, hard. I cut it too short. So I didn't think about the radius that uh, went from this side and it twisted onto the right side. Really hard to explain. I tried this for over an hour to get it on, but it's really too short. Sorry guys. It's, um, it's unfortunate. I cut it too short. Um, so I'm gonna let this dry and I use the excess material on the bottom because I didn't want to do both sides at the same time. So the underside is covered and tomorrow I'm gonna go down to the, to the carbon fiber store and buy some more carbon fiber. You live and you learn, right? So uh, a tip, use extra material so you don't have to up like me. I have a tight end line, but now I mixed some, um, I mixed some uh, epoxy for this part. Uh, it's really sticky, it's on there. I went into the corners for the um, tail lights and everything, and for the license plate um, lighting. Everything's on there really, really good. And then I mixed my epoxy now, and that's with, so of course, without the black paint that we had before. <laughs> if you're gonna use black paint now, you're gonna cover the carbon fiber. So, yeah, laying that with the, the soft uh, roller, I'm gonna put you on some music and the time lapse. Okay, it's the next day and as you saw I messed up huge yesterday. I cut off too much. Uh, when you're doing these intricate uh, radiuses that I have on this ducktail and going over to the other side, uh, I cut the weave too short because it's really, really twisting itself uh, from the radius. And then uh, I missed uh, a big chunk here, like a decimeter. So I bought some new um, weave. Today, uh, a wider one, and hopefully I'm gonna get help this time. This is really hard to lay on yourself. But the thing that I laid yesterday uh, came out really good. It's really dried up and is good. Uh, I went in by the tail lights, and now I'm actually just gonna take a razor blade and cut everything like the excess uh, material off. As you can see here, I have a lot of hanging out here so we're just using a razor blade this you really have to be careful with if you come up over the edge where the epoxy is uh, you can you can just start over again i guess so cutting up the edges and then now i'm gonna scuff this down afterwards and then i can put some more epoxy on there Put it on my mask because now we're gonna just clean off the edges with the block and the sandpaper on it. It's just making it nice from the cuts from the knife. Now preparing for the next layer of weave. Trunk lid is now laid over. So as you can see, I have a lot of spare on the sides. I'm not gonna risk it this time. If it tries to like twist, uh, I did though get a little bit of an imperfection here. I don't think you can recall on the video. Yeah, there you can see it. Like that, a little bit of waviness in the in the carbon fiber weave. I can't really do much about it right now. Uh, it's laid down. Yeah, I have to just face it. And then on this side, you can actually see it lay down quite perfectly. Uh, I'm just gonna be very careful about these small small nibbits that I have uh, that I have to like I could call it trash but it comes from the carbon fiber when I cut in it so when you cut in carbon fiber you get a lot of fibers of course and uh, you can get them a little bit all over the place but as you can see snug and tight so ladies and gentlemen I put on the first coat of uh, epoxy and I just wanted to show this is approximately after one hour and I have around about 26 degrees Celsius in here. 
the carbon fiber weave actually sucks in a, a quite a lot of epoxy so I waited one hour uh, to two hours and now we're gonna put on the next layer of epoxy I'm gonna keep doing this for three to four times so it's gonna be three to four layers and then we're gonna let it dry for 24 hours and then of course start sanding it down now as you can see I'm pouring out the second layer of epoxy gonna roll it out with the uh, sponge roller and I'm gonna keep on going like this until the last and fourth layer has been laid and then the 24 hours of drying so see you soon so after 24 hours the um, the trunk is outside the head again as you've seen it's a tedious work but what we're gonna do now is the final cut so every the excess uh, material we're gonna cut with the razor blade all the way around and you know the steps we're gonna go uh, with a flat block I'm gonna block this out with the 240 uh, I'm not gonna go too deep I don't want to touch the tops on the twill weave if you cut them off too deep it's gonna get black and that's not gonna look nice another tip is if you take away too much epoxy when you get out in the heat it's gonna sink and you're gonna see the fibers again. And I wanna have a thick layer of clear coat and I don't want it to sink. So that's a big tip for you guys in the US. But as I said, I'm gonna cut the excess uh, material away and then block it off. And then go into the paint booth again and lay a next layer of epoxy. Cause I usually go up to three to four coats. So over to sanding. As I said, sending down and blocking down this panel to yet again go into the paint booth to put some more epoxy on. So a correction, we're up to the fifth and sixth layer of epoxy. And yeah, I'm not going to bore you with that, so see you after that. Tedious work with the um, back lid or a trunk lid to the uh, Alfa Romeo, but out in the sun it looks starting to look really, really nice. Carbon fiber looks awesome in the sun. The ducktail looks really, really good. And on this side, yeah, it's really hard to see. Let me turn this around. It looks really, really, really proper. And this is the last round of epoxy that I'm, I'm gonna lay. Uh, now it's time to sand this down. Now we're gonna focus on the clear coat. I think I'm gonna have to add three days of clear coat. So today, Sunday, uh, come in tomorrow, sand it down on the evening after work. Then on Tuesday after work. And then on Wednesday, prep for the customer to pick it up. So sand and buff everything. And the customer wanted to paint this black on the inside because now it's white and I've done his uh, front fenders and the front or the hood and I did uh, uh, a Volkswagen black on the inside it looks a little bit better when you're opening up and it's not white and it looks yeah it looks better so you've seen me sand a hundred times so I'm just gonna sand this down but I'm gonna start with the 320 block then I'm gonna move over to say 600 that's way enough because I'm gonna lay so much clear coat on this uh, so when I'm done you're gonna go with me in the paint booth and we're gonna start add some clear coat now prepped in the paint booth uh, and as usual I don't know how many times in this video I'm gonna tell you wax and grease remover of course so this is prepped in the paint booth wax and grease removed and now begins the all the bunch of layers of clear coat what i usually do this is the tip i spray it very very thin in the beginning because usually you have potholes like fish eyes if you want the clear coat to get into the fish eye you just spray it thin like three times let it dry 10 10 minutes in between and then you do the thick layers after that after that that's 10 years of laying clear coat on carbon fiber. That's for free. <laughs> out here in sunny Sweden and I just took out the carbon fiber trunk lid to bake in the sun. It's starting to look really, really cool. 
and nice. I was in the paint booth putting down thin, thin layers of clear coat and this is the result. Now I can actually block it out once again. I have some low spots, I think I have two here. So I'm gonna uh, block out uh, yet again with the, the sanding block with a 320 and on this side everything looks more more or less perfect as you can see um, but just uh, on the top side I'm gonna block that one do that with the machine and then yet again we're gonna go into the paint booth again put down thin thin layers of clear coat but I'm gonna let that bake for a couple of minutes and uh, it's the same story all over again block it sand it wax and grease remover paint booth Hopefully our customer is going to be really, really happy with this one because this took forever. And we're back in the paint booth again. So everything prepped, of course, wax and grease remover, washed it off. Uh, I have my iron, I have my iron star air gun uh, just to make it non-static. So I've done that. I've gone over with the tack rack uh, like twice and now blowed it off again. What we're gonna do, we're gonna build up some clear coat again. I'm gonna put down um, like really thin and tacky um, layers of clear coat. So it's gonna be, it's not gonna be like super shiny. It's gonna be tacky. I just wanna build up slowly and uh, yeah, let's move on. flow coated it so now I laid a thick layer of clear coat and it's starting to look really really nice just look at this I don't know but I love the carbon fiber oh, the transition from here to here like really seamless yeah looks really really nice I know I have some dust in the clear coat but I don't care because I'm gonna sand it down once again and in the end then it's really really vital that I don't have any trash but I know this customer is gonna be showing this off and uh, I'm gonna wet sand and buff this in the end now it's starting to look like a really nice trunk really nice flow with going from the trunk to the ducktail and now carbon fiber all over Yet another day here, sanded down the trunk yet again. I don't know how many times I'm gonna tell this too, but yet again, now I'm up to on the 600 because now I'm just sanding down the clear coat and I'm prepping the inside for paint. The customer wants it black or grayish, so it looks more blend into the carbon fiber on the other side. That's totally fine. Uh, now I'm gonna prep the inside of the trunk because we weld it and we don't want to forget uh, the welds to cover them so we prevent the rust or corrosion. So I'm gonna use, as usual, the uh, wax and grease remover and then I'm gonna have uh, put on like two layers of epoxy primer on that. That's gonna close it in quite nice and I prepped uh, so I masked it off on the inside so it doesn't go in on the other side on the carbon fiber um, so yeah wax and grease remover some epoxy primer on the inside put up put it up into the holder again into the paint booth wax and grease remover clean everything nice and clean and then we're gonna put down the black paint on the inside uh, I'm gonna of course mask it off on the other side so we don't get any paint on the clear coat or on the carbon fiber and then we're gonna unmask it and then we're gonna clear coat everything and damn that's gonna be a long night and back to work at six in the morning tomorrow so see you in the paint booth
So, I'm uh, now doing the wax and grease remover yet again. I did that before I actually had the paper over, but I just want to clean off the edges from the tape. Sometimes you can actually get uh, stripes from the tape. So I'm gonna focus on the edges now. And as you can see, it's still dirty. That's shocking to me because I cleaned it very thoroughly before I began. And now yet again, I have a lot of dirt on it. So strange. Um, just a technique that I use. I usually go from one side to the other side. So it's time for clear coat and I'm gonna choose uh, a favorite of mine. It's the uh, Standox 9600. Uh, it's called the VOC Extreme Plus. And I like that because that is uh, more towards the thinner clear coat because now I've built up so much clear coat. Uh, but it is a fast and, and uh, uh, a quick uh, dry process. So like within a couple of hours, I would be able to sand it, uh, wet sand it and buff it if I want to. And the customer is going to soon pick it up. And especially for the inside on the, um, on the trunk lid, I want to be able to handle that because I'm going to sand out, sand down the outer skin once again after I'm doing this and I don't want to damage it being wet. So that's the one I'm going to use, the 9600, that's the uh, Stando Krill uh, VOC Extreme Plus Clear Coat, uh, a favorite of mine if you're going to use something that uh, hardens quick and you don't need to add a lot of heat, that's the one you should do. I'm going to pour that up. I'm gonna see you back in the paint booth.